Hey everyone, I'm Ian from InfoTV, and welcome back to AVI, the show where I talk about AV. Today we're going to be talking about FPS, not the genre. Now today we're going to be talking about frames in a second, FPS, and the different kinds that we use. Now the most common standards for frames in a second are 24 frames a second, 30 frames a second, and 60 frames a second. And we're going to go through them, compare them, and talk about why we use them. Now, to start off, we're going to start with 24 frames a second because it is the oldest that we know. 24 frames a second is essentially the slowest that we can have frames in a second while still being smooth enough for the human eye to understand and be relatively okay with. Now, this came at a time when we used film as well. So the more frames in a second meant more film you had to use, which by itself was expensive, but also you're shooting for longer as well as you're editing for longer. Now, we still use 24 frames today as cinematic standard because it adds a lot of uh, cinematic effect to a lot of videos and a lot of movies. So most movies you see in theaters will still be at 24 frames a second. Even if it's a fast motion movie, they'll still play it at 24 frames no matter what they shoot it at um, for the most part because it gives it a very old cinematic look to it. Now, that's not all movies. Something like The Hobbit will play in 60 frames a second because they want to say, hey, we look realistic. Uh, but for the most part, it's shown that with audiences, they connect more with 24 frames a second in movies and are sometimes uncomfortable with a little bit more, like we saw with The Hobbit. Now, next up, it's 30 frames a second. 30 frames a second gives a bit more smoothness than 24 frames a second, so it became the standard for television and for broadcast much quicker. Now, it's not what the human eye sees for the most part. It's still very slow compared to real-life action, so that's why it's a TV standard for things like sitcoms uh, and basic news because it's something that's smooth enough uh, for us to to be able to do different types of content but still get generally the same feeling overall 30 frames a second is the standard you'd find on most basic video cameras phones um, and even even high-end cameras too they'll still be at 30 frames a second uh, but for the most part uh, now we're starting to switch over to a new type of frame rate and that is 60 frames a second now Probably, I would say, one of the first uses of 60 frames a second would be video games. It was the most highly popular use of it because with something like video games, you want as much frames in a second and as much information coming at you in a second with smoothness and looking like as real as possible without adding blur because you need to have reaction time. Uh, we see 60 frames a second in something like GoPro cameras. People like to have action shots in 60 frames a second so that way there's more information so things moving very quickly can easily be picked up by the human eye watching it. Now, if you were to show people 24 frames a second and 30 frames a second, a lot of the time they wouldn't be able to tell the difference. In fact, some people even might not be able to tell the difference between 60 frames and 30 frames. So I have a few shots to show you what the difference between is between all the frames. Enjoy. Now, the rule of thumb though, is that you film in the highest frame rate you can and you just go back in editing and you can then export in a lower frame rate if you want that. This way it gives you the most control over your editing and the most information coming to your camera and more information going to your audience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, comment if you have any questions and check out some of the other InfoTV videos. This is Ian with InfoTV, signing off.